So when I first started thinking about installing a dust collection unit, it was uh, it's a pretty intimidating project to be honest. There is so much information available on the internet that I found it to be pretty overwhelming. There are so many different options. So I hope to just provide you with a, a general overview so that you can get an idea of what path you want to go with and then go do more research on that specific path. So what is dust collection and why is it important? Dust collection is simply just collecting all of the sawdust as you're making it. And it's really important for pretty much health reasons. It's not beneficial to your lungs to constantly be sucking up sawdust and that can lead to respiratory problems later on. There are many ways that you can get into dust collection. One way is to buy a shop vac. Most power tools actually come with a port on them to where you can either hook up a bag attachment that typically comes with it or you can hook up your shop vac. So I would turn my, my vacuum on, turn my power tool on, and then it's going to be sucking up dust as I'm making it with whatever power tool I'm using. However, another way is to buy a dust collection unit. The one I purchased is the Harbor Freight one because frankly it's the cheapest one on the market. Now with a dust collection units like the one I purchased, you can very well just bring it on home, pull it right out of the box, plug it in, and then start using it. However, most of the cheaper units, like mine, is going to be a one stage dust collector versus a two stage. Now real quick, the difference between the two is a one stage, whenever everything is getting sucked up into the impeller of the dust collector, everything is going to be going to the impeller first. Big chips, fine dust, everything and this can cause damage to the impeller and decrease the life ex expectancy of your unit overall. So another option is a two-stage unit to where a two-stage first comes into a separator and all of the heavier chips gets collected into a trash can or a barrel or a bag and then only the fine stuff goes into the impeller and then goes out to a filter. So this will be a lot easier on the impeller and make the unit last a lot longer. Now the, the downside to a two stage is that they're a lot more expensive. Uh, I spent $160 with a 25% off coupon for my one stage Harbor Freight dust collector. However, if I were looking at a two stage right out of the box, I'm going to be spending closer to $700. So it was worth it to me to buy the one stage because you have the option of buying a one stage and then converting it into a two stage. So I actually show you here how I turned my one stage into a two stage dust collector. I did that by adding a trash can and a thine baffle and then also changing up the orientation of, of the components. So you don't only have to have a dust collector in order to have a separator. Tab left here actually made a separator for his shop vac. I used the big green collar that comes with the Harbor Freight unit to create the spinning motion to make the separator. Well tab left ended up just making everything from scratch. So he bought the trash can, built the separator, made a thine baffle, and then hooked it up to his shop vac. Now real quick, a thine baffle, whenever you hear that, a thine baffle is a, a, in most cases, a piece of wood that has a 240 degree slot cut out of it. And the purpose of this is to keep all of the dust that is collected in a container in the container. What was happening is that the, the container would get like, let's say half full, well then the impeller all of this up here would start sucking up the dust that you've already collected into the container. So Mr. Thine came up with this baffle idea to keep all of the dust collected in the container in the container. So also on that note, you don't have to turn your one stage into a two stage. So what this gentleman did is he bought the Harbor Freight unit and set it up just right out of the box. However, he wasn't happy with it because in the lower bag portion where all the dust is collected, it would swirl around every time he turned the unit on. So he made a thawing baffle and inserted it directly into the collector itself and then this solved the problem of the dust wanting to come back out of the bag. So this is still a one stage dust collector, but it has a thawing baffle incorporated in order to solve a problem. One more alternative that I want to bring up is this gentleman here. He also bought a Harbor Freight unit and he has it set up in the traditional sense where the filter bag is on top and the collection bag is on the bottom. Then that green collector that comes with the unit is connecting the two. However, he wanted to add a separator. So what he did is he built a very quick and easy internal fine baffle with a right degree elbow in order to create that separator. So his is on the inside of his trash can, whereas mine is sitting on top and I'm using the collector. So they're, they're two different styles and two different ways, but they're doing the exact same thing. 
I would recommend using his if you're going to be housing your unit inside to where you need that collar to connect to a filter and a container. However, if you're going to be like me to where you're going to house it outside, then maybe something like my setup will, will do you good. I actually read the Jay Bates and the Instructable.com tutorial before getting started on mine. So just a few more resources for you. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention was housing the unit inside versus outside. Uh, I personally chose to do mine outside because I don't want to give up the floor space if I don't have to. And also, this unit's pretty darn loud. And so it's just an advantage to have it outside of my shop. Another advantage is I'm going to be able to vent my exhaust from, from the motor directly outside and I don't have to purchase an additional filter. Whereas if you're housing the unit inside, you are going to need either an additional filter bag or uh, a, one of those wind environmental filters. Because especially with this Harbor Freight unit, the bag, the filter bag that comes with it, only collects up to like a 5 micron where it's highly, highly recommended that you get some sort of filter that collects down to a 0.5 micron. So that's kind of a big difference. Also keep in mind that with whatever direction you choose, whether it be a dust collection unit or a shop vac unit, you can put it on a mobile base and you can put it in the corner and then let's say you use PVC to route it to all of your, all of your tools permanently, or you can have a flexible hose that can hook up to each tool as you're needing it. So you'd be able to hook it up to your table saw, then go and hook it up to your band saw as you're using each tool respectively. And I think that about covers everything that I wanted to talk about. So I hope that that is at least a little helpful to get you going in the right direction. I know that it's intimidating because there's a lot of information out there, but it would be my recommendation to figure out if you want to go with a shop vac method or a dust collector method. Then from there, figure out if you want to go with a one stage or two stage. And I think that if you get those two things figured out, then everything else will kind of fall into place for you. Big shout out to Patrick Hosey for putting together the animations. You can click here to go check out his channel and finish watching the rest of his video. Also, in the description of the video, I'm going to put all the links to the videos that I was talking about, plus a few resources that you might find useful. If you think that I've left out something important covering the basics, then feel free to leave it in the comment section below for future viewers to read. So. I hope that helps and enjoy fixing up your shop.